I do not need another camera, uh, especially this camera, because I have far too many Pentax cameras. I have a bunch of Pentax um, SLR 35mm film cameras, but this one particularly I hunted for a good example of because I'd seen so many rave reviews about it on YouTube and on DP Review and other websites such as that. The Pentax Super Program. God, I love this camera. This is my go-to travel camera. Why? Because it's light. Yes, uh, it needs a battery to shoot, otherwise it won't shoot, unlike my K1000 that I can shoot mechanically, but I just love the automatic features of this camera. This is an 80s camera, and it is often overlooked because of everybody clamoring over themselves to get the K1000. Students use the K1000 because it's fully manual, mechanical, um, you can use the K1000 with the internal light meter, but for the most part, it's mechanical. The Pentax Super Program, or Super A, has to have a battery in order to fire. That having been said, the batteries are already available and tiny. Therefore, if you travel, you can just take some extra batteries just in case it stops working and you can just change it out. The Super Program, otherwise known as the Super A, was one of the top models for Pentax when it was released. If you've heard of the ME Super, this is a nicer version of the ME Super. Now, the Super Program takes the K-mount Pentax lenses, which means they are interchangeable with all of my other Pentax cameras, which is great. That saves me money on glass, and I have a bunch of glass for it. This particular lens that I'm using is the Pentax A. It's 50 millimeter and it's 1.2, which means it's nice and fast. This means that I can lock this dial into aperture automatic mode. In comparison, you can see that my other Pentax K-mount lens does not have this feature. So I just make sure and always use my Pentax A with my Super Program. Let's compare. Super Program, K1000. Pretty similar. The K1000 is heavier, it feels a little bit more clunky, but it's very popular. The Super Program, although I cannot use it just mechanically, is so much better for traveling. Features wise, use this for the self timer, pull it out, press the button, 10 seconds. This gives you a preview, your preview switch, and then you've got a hand grip here, which is wonderful. Red dot is where you put the lens, line the red dots up. Let's look at the top of the camera. Now this is the film rewind wheel and the ASA is located there as well. This is my hot shoe mount for Pentax. Here is where we have our settings, alpha lock, auto, manual, and bulb. These two buttons here are our shutter speed buttons. This is how we fire the camera. And this is our film advance lever, LCD screen. Remove the lens by depressing this lens button here and turning the lens to the left. Depress the button, turn to the left, it's a bayonet fitting. To open the rear flap, all I'm doing is I'm gonna lift up this tab and it should pop open, wonderfully clean. And you can see on this camera, the light seals have been replaced so I get no light leaks, it's good. We can also see that on the top, we have exposure compensation, which is a wonderful feature. And then on the side here, this is where I set my ISO or my ASA. Right beside or above the ASA is a button. You depress that in order to change this dial, otherwise it's locked in. So when I put my film in the camera, I check the film, I set the ISO or ASA, and it stays that way. The only other time I'm gonna adjust that differently to the film stock as if I'm using expired film, and that's a whole different world. We have a TTL hot shoe, which means I can use my Pentax flash from my modern Pentax cameras, and it's wonderful. I can also attach a power winder to the bottom of this camera. I won't be doing that, but I get 3.5 frames per second, I think, if I use it. I'm not gonna do it. To attach the lens to the body of the camera, we can see it has a little red dot, and then on my lens, another little red dot. All you do is line them up. Should click nice and easily into place. 
and then rotate to the right. Click. When it's clicked in, you're good to go. So this wonderful $40 to $200 Pentax Super Program is slightly more advanced than the other Pentaxes that I own, but it's my go-to travel camera. Fully automatic, super lightweight, and super reliable. As long as I have those spare batteries in my travel kit, which I always do, this never lets me down. Have a look at some of these images. I think they're wonderful. They were taken really easily, and I'm gonna keep this in my collection forever. If you're considering buying a Pentax Super Program, I would say go for it, do it, stick it on the shelf, take it with you on your travels, and you won't go far wrong. Just a side note and a tip, this is something I do with all my travel cameras. I'm gonna show you how to set it up so you won't drop it and so no one can snatch it out of your hand and steal it. This is a Peak Design Anchor, super easy to use. You thread the button through the loop. I'm right-handed, so this is my loop here. I thread my Peak Design loop up through the camera loop. The button comes back through pull it nice and tight. That is my anchor in place. This is my awesome Peak Design wrist strap. Locks into place with the self lock. Now I can dangle my camera on my wrist, high five people, and I know it's not gonna go anywhere. To use the Peak Design anchor system, all you do is slide your button into here. So I just hold my camera upside down, slide the button, boom, clicks into place. Now. My camera can dangle off my wrist. No one can steal it off me. I can get it to work really quickly and get those great shots that I love getting. This is a must when traveling. Always use a wrist strap or a neck strap. You'll drop your camera or someone will snatch your camera. Trust me. So thanks for watching you guys. This is my Pentax Super Program. It's gonna be with me forever. Have a look at these pictures that I took. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, thumbs up, subscribe and see me on the next one.